Good sleep is important. Sleep deprivation can lead to physical and mental exhaustion leading to poor judgment and also really lower your morale. I can never sleep well on a hard surface so I came up with this clever way to quickly build a comfortable hammock bed. The first thing you will need is wood. The idea is to elevate it above the ground so I pile some logs against a tree trunk. It's important to make sure that they stay in place so I jam smaller sticks underneath to create a wedge. You only need to make it a little over a foot above the ground so in this case I'm adding one more log. Next, clear the area from unwanted debris. You don't want to leave hiding places and food for any unwelcome critters. Then I gather two strong branches that are at least five feet long and place them perpendicularly to the stack of logs with one end lying across the pile of logs and the other on the ground. They should be spaced at least two and a half feet apart. Then I either place a spacer log about two and a half feet wide in between them on the pile of logs, or in this case, the tree itself holds the long branch and a fork in the top log holds in place the other branch. Next, find a spacer log about two and a half feet long for the bottom end of the bed and make sure that the, when the two branches are squeezed together that they remain secure. That's the bed frame. The last thing you will need is about 100 feet of paracord. I use paracord for everything from lacing my sandals to making fishing line. It's extremely versatile and very strong, but other types of cordage can be used also. The idea is to weave the cord back and forth between the two long branches of the bed frame. Tie one end securely to one of the top corners of the bed frame and start the weave from over the top of the branch to over and around the top of the opposite branch. Then cross over the cord to the branch you started at. Wrap over and around the top of the first branch two to three inches below the starting point and then over the cord again. Repeat this process wrapping over and around the branch and weaving over the cord at two to three inch intervals all the way down to the bottom of the bed frame. Before securely tying the end of the cord, go back and really tighten the weave starting at the beginning and working your way back down. This way the bed won't sag too much when you lie in it. When you get to the end, tie it securely to either of the long side branches. 100 feet of paracord will allow you to make a bed about 5 feet long by 2.5 feet wide. For even more comfort, use 200 feet of paracord and make a tighter weave by repeating the weave pattern from bottom to top in the opposite direction, filling in the gaps. Now you can lie down and relax. If you have sufficient time and materials, you can make the bed longer and raise the bottom end above the ground like a cot. For me, this inclined hammock bed works well to keep my body off the ground and quite comfortable so I can rest well and enjoy the next day's adventures. I really hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.